We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up OBMP. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. We are in the monthly time frame price action. Last end of the market is a doji indecisive. So we have to see if we're going to receive a candle that's going to engulf that price action candle to push that market down, or are we going to receive a candle to the upside that's going to push that market up? If not, anything, any candles that form within this price action doji will be considered consolidation until we see the breakout to the upside or breakout to the downside. So let's break down this chart as an overall and see what we see and what happened. Price action started at a low. So just think about it spiking a low or coming from a low. And market spiked up. It pushed up once, retest. Pushed up again, retest. Pushed up again, retest. We got a double top here. So we just got W's in the market. This is a whole bunch of W's. Read W's and M's. So easiest way to break this down is highest high, lowest low, midpoint, market broke, came back to retest. And we can see, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six candle in the market was the retest. So market broke the midpoint or got to the midpoint, came to retest, broken retest the midpoint, pushed up with the one, two, three, four, five, six, the last candle in the market was the retest. That six last candle of the market retested that second level highs of resistance in that area, wasn't able to break, push that market down. And then the fourth to last candle was engulfment that pushed the market up. And we, we, we continue that staircase pattern with the break and retest. Let's walk down the time frame, see what's going on. On the weekly time frame, price action is a bullish hammer. So price is running into side by side consolidation. It did it did push up. So third to last candle spiked up. Market pushed back down. We have two wicks with the price action second lax candles two wicks sitting at that bottom so price formed a double bottom wasn't able to push down further we got long wicks could be market lost some momentum can't be turned around to come back up so it'll basically be a break and retest and the market pushes up higher headed down to the daily time frame on the daily time frame, price action, bullish solid candle, very strong, showing that price is working its way up. Second last candle did engulf the third to last candle that also pushed that market up. So price action is at that midpoint of that area. So let's work it. Price action, higher highs of that area, price action midpoint where price is currently at. And we had price action, we can see price action low. The formation that's forming is the W. So we can see that first leg, second leg, third leg, and Marcus pushed up for that fourth. Now, this is where we're going to see if Marcus going to push up further. So we're looking for price action, can do to close above the fifth to last can do wick. And push that market up further, or it may take the next can do to start pushing that market up further. But we can see the W. So this could be the cap boy cap off point for the resistance. So once the market pushes up out of this, you look at the market to retest, you look at that pattern, that structure, and we'll see if the market push up further. If that happens, market's coming from a double bottom and a retest, or market's gonna just spike the high and push up further. Hit it down to the four hour time frame. So we can see on the four hour time saying price action, uh, bullish solid candle. Price action trying to work close out and push up above the previous area. Price action is above the previous solid bodies of that candle, but price action isn't above the bearish uh, wick. So we want price to close above this wick. Or may take the next candle to 
close above that wick to push that market up further or show some type of formation in that area as we walk down a time frame that market is going to work its way up it's going to take a sr line array and drop it right here so we do have some type of break price action did not break the wick yet so let's take a look at what's going on headed down to three hour time frame so we can see the break solid bullish candle in a three hour time frame on a two hour set time frame as well on a one hour time frame reading the same so three two one all reading the same last candle in the market is all the same headed down to a 30 minute time frame same as well so markets on that is within that break of that market at the sr line no candles on the outside and we don't even see a retest yet so price is still pushing still identifying the same thing it's not pushing just price is just showing that we did receive the break um, we're still going to see if we're going to see receive the break and retest for that market to go up or we just going to receive more bullish candles after this headed down to the one minute time frame same as well so for the time we went i think from the three hour two hour time frame price action candle is all the same is in that area of breaking and laying on top of the resistance for the retest or a candle to form outside of that um, resistance area that high to push that market up further very important information guys please study forex pattern cheat sheet click on images also break down retest strategy click on images okay guys this is cam jones FX Ilya Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention. OBMP Stock.